against the red sands of Bloodborne Beach. Every splash of water makes the rocks, sand, everything a different color, and then fades back to its blood red. The sands and rocks here are full of iron, hence the rusty, bloody, red color. <laughs> <laughs> Up on the shore, there is a lighthouse that calls out to ships to come and dock outside of this one lone building, this one safe tavern. At the base of the lighthouse is said tavern. A sandy path leads up from the one or two spaces uh, on the shore for a uh, docks. There's two docks. <laughs> <laughs> and the rocky little thing goes up to the, the, the door of the lighthouse and a, a creaky wooden door with those western style saloon <laughs> doors. <laughs> Swing and creak in the wind. <laughs> Outside the tavern, there's a couple of horses. <laughs> they sound just like that. <laughs> One is completely white. One is completely black. And the other kind of looks like a Dalmatian. <laughs> the path upwards is naturally very slippery and treacherous. No one really maintains these paths. You must be really jonesing for a drink if you want to go to this particular tavern. Uh, on top of that, the stairs leading up to the tavern are like they have no railings. <laughs> it's like a serious safety hazard. <laughs> Spiral staircase. Going all the way up. <laughs> no railings. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the building itself has uh, storm shutters to keep out all the rain from the constant rainstorms. But on the inside, everything is damp. All of the wood is swollen a little bit so that there are no like straight lines anywhere. You do hear this faint dripping, although no one can. Quite figure out where it's coming from. The air feels heavy, and there's this musty, mildewy smell. In the one corner, it's all blackened due to this mold. And people tend to avoid it, not because of the mold, but because that's where the rats are. <laughs> mold rats! <laughs> In fact, the mold rats have their own community, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> talking about their, their great adventures, of what they have achieved. But these are no heroes. These are... <laughs> uh, can I get a, a suggestion for a, a Dungeons & Dragons class? Just a, a class you love to play. Like a rogue! A, a rogue. I'll take a rogue. I like a rogue, yes. On the left here, a, a rogue sits. They have a hood up over their head and long robes that can cover uh, their whole body head to toe, uh, as well as the robe and then a bandana just covering the lower half of their face. And so the reason they have the bandana is anonymity, of course, but also <laughs> they have a satchel that is full of like a thousand different vials, each with a different poison. If you were to pass by this person, give them a whip, you would smell a lot of things because they are as the, the, the hood is going over, they're making potions. <laughs> <laughs> At all times. Maybe they're, maybe, they're, maybe they're cooling something over here. Maybe they're just dripping a little powder into a little <laughs> Their only noticeable distinguishing feature are their eyes. No irises. No pupils, they're pure white. They seem to shine with a light that gives no light. And there's one scar right on the upper corner of their left eye. And the only skin that you can see is just this part of the face. And it is white and shriveled. 
So this carrot. <laughs> Any kind of object. A bowl. A crystal ball. A hammer. Should we take a hammer? A hammer. Okay. In this chair sits the biggest, buffest, squattest dwarf. <laughs> like big black. Anyway. The only way this character walks is in a squat. <laughs> this character has never hunched over the counter to see what's in the store. It's always in squat position. <laughs> if it's too high, he just pushes it over. <laughs> <laughs> he has a really mean snarl. He's kind of like permanently raised his lips so that uh, his lip is avail uh, available. <laughs> 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 above just like a very scraggly black beard. But a big old nose. Yeah, big old nose. And the softest lips ever, which are also available. <laughs> <laughs> Is where this lighthouse sits. Its beard is, is, is thick and, and red and yellow, and it, it's it's a <laughs> just, just generally like a, like an autumn color palette. <laughs> uh, and he has just the biggest <laughs> warhammer by his side. I think that's our biggest warhammer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, forged in the fires. Of the elemental plane of fire. <laughs> it has six different coats of blood on it. <laughs> Never been washed. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm quite hungry. Can someone cut off a finger or something? <laughs> I'm sure some unsuspecting soul will be along soon enough to sate your hunger. Well, that would be perfect. Oh, 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 Focus is an important part of your diet. <laughs> oh, I can't believe all the people to be cooped up in here, it has to be the two of you. Well, I was just about to say the same thing. Yes, I can think of more preferable company. Well, at least both of you have families. Probably. <laughs> I was made in a cauldron. <laughs> but it was a good household. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't sit still. Seasick just watching it. <laughs> Who wants to roll the wisdom save for cast? <laughs> 
She needs more than a ten. Yeah, she needs a ten. Actually, let's say a twelve or higher uh, to resist the charms. That's a 17. I can see right through you. Underneath, it's not all that. Say, you want to pop my box? Of the unseen. 
The fortune teller of the unfortunate This is a hard one. I hate the bone breaker. Oh. Oh. And I'm so sorry for your loss. In two months' time, it shall not be right. Thank you, dear. Oh, not I. Not I. One in a silver cloak. But I can see it quite clearly. Mm. They sleep in through the window of your bedroom. They tiptoe past your cot and right there, underneath your bedstand, they grab the old average and say, I'm sorry, I didn't boss the school your hammer. It was Kyle. <laughs> what will it be? You see, I am a definition wizard. <laughs> Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not ticklish, but wait, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you always said you weren't ticklish. I'm full of lies.
to answer it. So next to the door, well, is a very attractive piece of armor. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> I'm just supposed to be looking for a treasure in here, and I've never been in a dungeon before. My name is uh, Clarence Smoot. <laughs> My name is Smoot. <laughs> I knew that this was the guy to help me unlock the strong box that I really wanted for my my guild that I steal things from. <laughs> Excuse me, but I seem to have lost my key to a certain. Box. Uh, would you say you're good at opening those kinds of things? Well, you know, I could always give it a shot, you know. Mom always say, you don't know if you can't do anything until you try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe while we go through the, the hallways, you can sing a song about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
they'll always get you. They'll always get you a magic eye. I always say, never, never touch a magic item. Because you never, it's, it's always a cursed monkey paw. <laughs> Even if it's like the holy righteous sword, it's still somehow a cursed monkey paw. That's my blood. Who would be worse to bring a monkey paw? <laughs> I, Just a little bit of blob humor. <laughs> 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 See him. I have been hired to, to heist a flying carpet. You know, the flying carpet of Allure. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the traditional flying carpet of your traditional flying carpet. There's one rumor to be held in the Hall of Treasures. And I, I'm sneaking in to go and get it. I, have been, I had my, my dossier, I had my orders, I had my pay. I was going to steal it like, like a thief that I am. And, well, damn it, this little wretch. Just didn't bring the whole house down. So this hall, this museum, is full of magic items from a cursed monkey paw to sea cursed monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have come in through the sewers because I'm a crafty rogue. And I moved in the shadows, as is my name. Said. It wasn't until I had made my way into the archives, I disguised myself as a child on a, uh, on a school trip, and <laughs> snuck away at the last moment, just in time to tie my little ribbon thing. <laughs> I entered, the Duke was up, I, I, I'm here, I found where I need to be. Who oh, the hell are you? What is this? <laughs> no traps, no alarms. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Easiest hundred gold pieces I ever made. Go ahead, take it. I can. No harm, nothing could possibly go wrong. Who's who's saying that? Who is you? I subdued all the guards and the school teacher. <laughs> you subdued all the guards, or were they already a little weak to begin with? Well, now that you mention it, they did go down easy. One of them might literally just looked at him the wrong way. <laughs> Where? Who are you? Show yourself, creep! I am the Knight Storm Chaser. Oh, my. And I thought, yes. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here. Sorry, first, you want to come to me? You see, with this magic carpet, I can finally get to the tallest peak of the jaws of death. It's a suicide mission. Yes, I am one of them. I have stared death in the face and have had a goddess. I fear everything, and I fear Well, I have no pupils, so I'm not staring at anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck with! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna be a fight check! So I wanna grab the dive. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix style. <laughs> 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 
the tired of eating? It's not going to be a good story. It's going to be a good meal. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. I've never done this before, but I secede to you. You're just going to let me eat you? No. seem like a gentle soul that, that just wants to be loved. And I will give you that love in the form of my feet. <laughs> Stop eating me, please. <laughs> Farewell, traveler. And good tidings to you. I bet I'm in the clear! Yeah. 
<laughs> you wily devil, I saw you. I can see all the evil creatures scuttering about in the darkness, oh. in the shadows. Oh, okay, um, hello? What's the name? You're in my dungeon. <laughs> a gelatinous cube that can speak like a eye. I've never seen such a thing in all my years. You're an incredible squelch. You, you don't seek to consume me? I mean, yeah, but it was just going to be polite first to get to know you. I will banish you to another plane should you lay one slimy cubic centimeter on me. Okay, here. Righteous is the word you're looking for. Squelch? I'm not touching you. <laughs> Three. 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 Three.